Okay. So uh, the, the number of men that have zero sexual partners in the last year. They, so they want to have sex, but no one will have sex with them. What percentage do you think? Out of 100. Okay, so they want to have sex, but no one wants to have sex uh -huh. with them. Um, I don't know. I'm going to throw a number out there. Okay. 20%. 20%. Oh, Go ahead. Okay, cool. What was the question? The number of Wrong the percentage of men that want to have sex. Everybody, have your number in your head, please. Yeah, yeah, I get got ready it. to order while we show up to Denny's. Like before, <laughs> before <laughs> the fucking waiter gets here, please, or we're gonna be here all day. One more time. The percentage of men that have that want to have sex but will have zero sexual partners in a year. Mm, uh, I think it's very low. Okay. Like probably like. 30%? Thirty percent. Thirty percent. So she said twenty percent. You said thirty percent. What do you think? I said five. Five percent. Five percent. Here we okay. go. So you think guys are just okay? Yeah. Guys want to have sex. They're having sex. I mean, it's easy nowadays. So okay, it's <laughs> easy. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Seventy. Um, Seventy percent of men are want to have sex and are having no sex. Yeah. I think twenty percent. Twenty percent. Thirty. 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 I agree with her. Like, probably it's like 80%. 80% of men want to have sex and don't have and any they sex. And they don't have any sex. It's yep. funny because it's uh, the 80% of men are deemed unattractive on dating apps. The answer is about 33%. 33% are about men 30. under the age of 30 are having no sex at all with anyone. About 26% of those men under the age of 30 are virgins. Or rather, they have not had sex with the age of between 18 and 30. 26 have had no sex, period. That's Never. Not, no, period, no sex at all. So that's essentially what's happening, but right? That, that numbers and that's numbers the growing. Uh, in cells, it doesn't that, count. The involuntarily celibate, meaning I want to have sex and nobody will have sex with me. I know, but me. that doesn't count. That does count. That's specifically what that means. Okay. In, involuntarily celibate means I want to have sex and nobody will have sex. No, I Vol understand. Vol-cell means I'm voluntarily but celibate. But you said um, men that don't have sex, like, within a year. Yeah. Does it include the virgins? No, the, yeah, so, so yes, some, of course it would include the virgin. A vir it's, if someone who's not had any sex has not had any sex in a year, so yes, those two numbers would overlap. So about 26% mm -hmm. of men, virgins, 33% haven't had sex in the last year. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And then 80% of men on, on social media apps are deemed unattractive, 20% are deemed attractive, and 4.5% of men are so attractive that women actually pursue them. Well, initiate. Those men are in hookup culture. The other 80% <laughs> of men are not <laughs> in hookup culture. Yes. Most men don't cheat because they can't cheat. Most men don't have a chance. If we want, if we drove by, uh, we went to Chick Fil A and we ordered some food, and I asked you guys after we left, "Hey, what is the the guy who who gave you your food? What does he look like?" Most of you would not remember what he looked like. Most of you would. He. It's not that he's ugly. He doesn't even exist to you because he works at Chick Fil A. If a guy pulls up in a Lambo, you remember his eyes were blue. You remember what his teeth look like. You remember all kinds of stuff because you attribute. I care about this doggy, yeah. yeah. Because you want a guy that's superior to you. I'll take it further. When you go to CVS, after he came inside of you for your Plan B, the guy behind the counter. You don't know who he is. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> invisible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. true. They're invisible to us. Yeah. 100%. Okay, so the, the reason why he was saying that I mean, before somebody's with the always culture invisible is that, like, for most somebody men else, can't you know what I'm saying? Anyone, it could be famous no and you show it to somebody else is like it could be famous, and you show it to somebody else, and that person would be like, I don't know who this is. The only time hookup culture gets what? mentioned, <laughs> like, the only time hookup culture gets, yeah. the only time it gets mentioned is when there's a need to pass blame onto guys. It's like, oh, well, if guys were better men, then women wouldn't be OnlyFans whores, right? If guys were just better, if they take more responsibility, then women would, would act better and be better. And the, and the thing is, my and my response to this is always, well, what you're basically saying is that women have no agency, they have no choice, they have no free will, they have, and it's all dependent on men. So what is it? Is it that women have no agency and they're completely, you know, they, they can't take accountability or, or responsibility for anything they do because it's men who are the ones who are making those decisions for them or are you actually responsible for your own actions? Is it personal responsibility for that woman? And that's the thing is that nobody ever wants to have that conversation because it's like, it's like asking women to be like a victim and also to be a superhero at the same time. And that's mm -hmm. really what feminism teaches women is it teaches them to be, they're either victims or of a, of of this horrible, you know, world. yeah, the man's world, or else they're superheroes. They're they're you know Captain Marvel. Which they can do anything. Which are and it's emotions. only and it's depending on what the situation is. It's whatever conveniently works at that particular time. They're tense. And that's what that's all tense. hookup culture is. Yeah. Is it's a convenient answer for casting women as victims. Yeah. Uh, anybody? Somebody was trying to say something. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree? think okay. it goes hand in hand with the whole saying that you're a ten. Because if you're oh, saying you're a ten, back to the ten thing, no, please. I'm just. She's using it as an example. Go as ahead, an example, I think a lot of women live in their delusion, and like I said, there's a your delusion, your truth as a woman, as an individual, and then there's reality. Not only for looks, just for everything, health, uh, news, mm. everything. 
So I think with the whole um, hookup culture, it is mostly promoted mentally and literally by women because they do mostly talk about it blaming men about but it's a few culture. men and those few men have so many options with women that's why they're blaming those men they're those okay again matter of fact let's have fun with this finish your point and then i'll yeah, say uh, it, please 14 percent of men are over six feet tall 17 percent of men make over a hundred thousand dollars a year so six feet tall and a hundred thousand dollars a year it's 0.17 times 0.14 it ends up being like three percent of men or something like that to one point some ridiculous number below three that's the number of men that are over six feet tall and make a hundred grand a year that you're talking about hookup culture the average man in the u.s is like five nine and makes forty nine thousand dollars a year okay that's what we're saying is that the majority of men do not get to participate in this hookup. Hookup culture sounds so fun, doesn't it? When you were in college, <laughs> yeah. hookup culture yeah. sounded right. Yeah. You want to know who didn't want to hook up with me? Women my age. They didn't give yeah. a fuck about yeah. me. Yeah. They, didn't give, they didn't care. They were dating some older 35 year old dude. They didn't care. Bartender. We wanted awesome men. <laughs> if you guys out there listen, man, hookup culture, you just all this free sex sounds great. But the reason why men are out there listening to this frustrated because it's not happening for them. There's a small group of men that that's happening for. And so when women are blaming them, yes, I understand that Brock the bartender fucked you fucked your friend fucked your sister and fucked up other people so you want to complain about him most men are not brock the bartender that's the point not only that okay. i mean if we're gonna it proves this proves my point even more there's a facebook group all over the place called are we dating the, the same, same guy, guy. Yeah. Are yeah. We so, yeah if that doesn't prove that females literally only have sex with a small portion of men i don't know what else Guys, does they have to do yes. it where they need to actually use each other to identify pre-selection men <laughs> crowd to pre that are able to go ahead and have <laughs> sex with other girls La ladies you know, uh, ladies oh. by, by the way myron me and you were in that group before <laughs> what we were in that are group we before. dating the same guy really? it's hilarious yeah when <laughs> I have an insider in there. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, hilarious. Oh, wow. Ladies, how much, how, like, just in general, how much dick are women offered in general? A lot. The a answer lot. is yeah. infinite. Yeah. Women are offered infinite dick and you still try to steal each other's man. What the fuck is that telling you? You yeah. still try to steal each other's man. True. But it's not never, it's never about the man. Bro. Most of the times, he's just jealous of girls. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't change. Most it doesn't time, change the yeah. bottom line, though, that you're going after a man that has other women. So, like, yeah. what, what we're trying to explain here, because we asked you, whose fault is hookup culture? Again, bringing it back, because uh, I'm the, not the nice guy. It's women's fucking fault because women are whores nowadays. That's the reality. Oh, okay. oh, because, yeah. because, yeah. because yeah. no, no, no. And hold on, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. If you're the one that picks who fucks, then that means you have control. If you have control, that means you have authority. If you have authority, that means you also have responsibility. responsibility. Spider-Man. But women, Ooh. right? We don't, we don't make women accountable for their poor decisions. We tell them, yo, uh, you're a princess. You deserve X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. My thing is, if only a minority of men can actually engage in hookup culture, whose fault is it really? It's the women. So when I see a girl on TikTok complaining about, I can't get a guy to take me seriously, or this guy ghosted me, or blah, blah, fucking blah, I laugh. Because I'm like, you picked the wrong guy. It's probably a dude that fucks a bunch of other girls. You were too stupid to identify to see if he was a player or not, even though you fucked other players and you should know by now. But women don't understand that, okay, this guy's probably not a good long-term partner. I shouldn't get with him. He's too attractive. He's too charming, etc. This is why arranged marriages work for so long. Because women suck at picking their own boyfriends oh, okay. most of the time. That's why women typically stay chronically single and or get hurt by men. Because they don't have an authority figure, like their dad or their brother, to get involved in helping them find a guy. It's what feels good. They go off what feels good. And what guess what feels good? Dick. Fucking Tyrone. Oh, All right? Dick. Pause. Dick. Or Chad. Or yeah. Brock, the bartender. Those guys know what to Brock, say. The they get the vibe, right? Because girls say dumb shit. It's just the vibe. The vibe is he makes you feel a certain way and then he's able to smash. Well, most guys don't have the vibe. Okay. You have, you have a question? Um, it just sounds like it's one half of a coin. Like, oh, it sounds like, uh, okay, so you're saying that women are not choosing correctly, right? Yes. So I don't, I, I just don't get how it's like in one half you're seeing blue, when it's really red. It's like, how does that reflect on the women that they're choosing shitty men? It's like the blue side of that is, is there's more shitty men. There's not more shitty men. There's six women competing for the one shitty man. Yes. <sighs> That's the point we're making. What, but yeah. what's the ratio of men to women in the world? It's 50-50, but 80% no, of those no, men are not. getting nothing. It's, it's 41-59. They're already no, selected out. Yes, it is 41-59. They're invisible no, to not. you. Oh, oh, no, 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 women, the ratio the of men to women? No, 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 no. In, in the, the world? world? Men. No. Oh. There's more women in yeah. the world it's than there are men. It's 5149. There's more women. There's barely, it's not even 1%, but it's 5149 women to men. Yes. But also, the men that you actually want are good men, invisible to you. They're boring. You that's the guy that's in a friend zone right now. The total yep. level guys. 
Friend zone. Five nine making oh, four. Every single one here. of you girls here at the table has probably two to three guys right fucking now that's in the friend zone that would be a fantastic boyfriend to you. Yeah. Yep. But you don't want him because he's boring. Are he's boring. Gotcha, bitch. So I don't have True. a name. I mean, I, okay. I, I, I don't keep wanting to say it's subjective, but I feel like there's so many girls who probably say they gave a guy who they may have not been their initial choice a chance, yeah. and it may, it just pisses them off even more yeah. when oh, they get played. Yeah, yeah, because he's it's, it's gonna, No, it's, no, it's going to no, be... No, 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 if you feel like you're going out of what's usual, uh, your usual comfort zone and being like, okay, maybe I should give this guy a chance because... What I usually like doesn't suit me most of the time. So let me give this guy a chance. Because if they ran through, say, how do they come to that decision? I mean, <laughs> I, I could I can speak for myself. I mean, I've heard other girls over here say, but like, yeah, like when I said that, it was like, yeah. Like, I've heard many girls say they've given a not their usual mm -hmm. choice mm -hmm. guy yeah. a chance, and it does nothing but just piss you off even further. What do you mean, piss you off? How did they come to the usual choice? Because you say, if you know better, you do better. So when you're trying to do something different and you feel like you're still r arriving at the same conclusion of you're acting shitty, you're going to be like, the problem well, is what the fuck? Cause, like, because you're a 10. <laughs> so no matter what you do, uh, no matter who you choose, back to that delusion. You're, you're right. You're no, no, them. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's that's still like I say. You're choosing to only look at blue when it's also red. That's still putting. That's still putting a, another person's shortcoming, and I and I'm and I'm making that reflect me. So if I give a guy a chance and he mm. doesn't do what he's supposed to do. That's my fault. Like that's that's no accountability for how they're behaving. What do you mean he doesn't do what he's supposed to do? They give yeah. these other guys a chance, and what do they do? Exactly wrong? what you said to put the nice guys in the friend and what, zone. What happens when you t when you they start dating a guy who might be good for them? What they happens? might be promiscuous, like we just said. So you're saying that these guys would be promiscuous also? These guys who are like they, have they, no they, chance they, with they women just, at all. They, you, <laughs> we just said by nature, it doesn't matter if the guy is attractive or not. By nature, just like you said, there's a whole group of incels. They they still want to do what they want to do because they're still yeah, men. There's no just one like to have sex you. with them. That's the point. Exactly. There is no one to and then have guess sex what? With and if you give them some, that's not gonna make them be like, "Oh, this girl gave me some. Let me love her forever." They're still gonna be like, "Okay, I got her. What? What can I do next? You know? Let me, let me, let me try the, the next it, thing." Yeah, it, it can still happen. Okay, let's say, what I'm saying. Let's say that's true. But can they? No, but, exactly. they, but, they, but they think that. And, and, and no, 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 but, but can they? But is, but is that not true? If a guy's like, I got this girl, and this is above my league, I can, I can top this. Let me, let me see the next girl I can pull. No, so let me is, see the next baddest can I can they act pull. Act upon those thoughts. Honestly. But are they going to try to do it? And guess what? So, so you that can girl... turn an incel into a player just by giving him some pussy. No, but that's true. You can. Yeah. You can. <laughs> what the fuck? Never give it a chance. No, give guy a chance. Tell me how. I just told. I just told you because I don't know. that sounds no. like a coaching product. I'm, you oh, can make a billion dollars. I am slow. That's how that. you can make I so much money slow. if that was true. Mara, Jesus, break it off for me. I'm slow. Sorry. Because, like you said, if you're a guy and you get a girl, and let's let's say in subjectively you feel like she's a you 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 pulled a six. Right? Okay. So you're like, okay, let me get a seven. Okay, let me get an eight. Let me get a nine. Okay. She's exactly really got a seven, though. But it's going to have teeth. But in their head, it's a competition. They want to level up. They're not going to just be like, oh, I got the six. Let me stay with the six. How do you know? Are you a guy? We, ju we, just, we just explained that. <laughs> It's like male hypergamy. Like, okay, let me. I always want the best thing. Like, uh, okay, let's take it a step further. <laughs> let's say I get a girl. Yeah, Generally I, speaking, I, I call angry. who breaks up with you for men or women? Who what? Who is that laughing in my ear? Uh, his mom. Oh, he weak. That's good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's laughing no. into his coffee so, mug. So <laughs> again, right? Don't knock your coffee mug over. Men and women. Thank you. Thank you. Relationships. <laughs> who, what gender breaks up more? Sorry, say that again. What gender I, he's left, I'm sorry, say starts again. the breakup more, men or women? Who initiates a breakup more? Who, who initiates a breakup yeah. more? Women. Yeah. yeah. So by default, right, if mm -hmm. a man gets a girl it's skin of his teeth, he ain't leaving. It's a woman that leaves most of the time. But that's not going to stop him from trying to elevate if he can, right? Well, once again, can he, though? He just if got he, you. If he's going to try to, is what I'm saying. But can he actually do it? Yeah, it no, but in that, pro in that process, you're going to, in that process of you trying to be like, oh, I'm going to get a better girl, mm -hmm. and that, that girl that you chose mm -hmm. that took a chance on you, mm -hmm. that's why people are saying what they're saying. Like, oh, I tried to give a nice guy a chance, and he did this. So, so I'm going back to the jerks and the ass yeah. hats. Yeah, so you go back <laughs> to the guys that failed you. No, yeah. you're, you're saying like... doesn't really make it go either. <laughs> yeah. So... That, I mean, sucks for, that sucks for women, man. That's, 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 it, shit. It that does. sounds really shitty. It does. <laughs> well, I mean, controversial take. Uh, it's because I think a lot of women, once again, remember the whole 10 thing and I'm special. Like, you're not above a guy having sex with another girl when he's in a relationship with you. Uh, I, you know, I, it I amazes agree. me how many girls think, well, 
I'm with this guy. He better only be faithful to me. Well, men typically are only as faithful as their options. So you could get with a guy that's extremely Agreed. attractive with money, or you could get with a guy that's a loser. If he has the opportunity to have sex with other women, it might happen. So I just tell women to prepare for it and just accept that. Okay, does he love you? Are you the main girl? Are you the one with the title? Do you have that? Okay, then stop complaining. Well, I got cousins, <laughs> and and I know like when they when when they have a girlfriend that they really like, they be faithful to them. Like, they don't cheat. How do you know? Not the cat. Because I know, like, they tell me, like, you know, like, they tell me they fuck in the car, they tell me they fuck in the theater, they tell me they All fuck right, in the, the train. Do you, do you actually think, and I'll go around the table on this one, do you actually think you can sexually satisfy a man by yourself? Of course, yeah. Really? Okay. Who else at the table? Give me a thumbs up with the green if you think you can sexually satisfy a man by yourself, ladies. Let me see. Who else? Throw them up. Come on. Can you sexually satisfy a man by yourself? Bro, oh, no, shake it right now. <laughs> come on. Come on, ladies. Let's give confidence. Thumbs up, Put it up. Thumbs up, ladies. I mean, throw, throw, okay. thumbs up. I'm not putting this uh, up. Thumbs up. So green not satisfy a man sexually. Oh, he's going to so bed. Here, with all five of the books no. in his collection, he can, no. sex, he can satisfy a man. There yeah, you, you guys are oh, funny. Man. Let me get, let me get, okay, so we got, uh, okay, uh, throw them up, ladies, throw them up. Okay. Put them up. One, two, three. So only three of you think you can sexually satisfy a man by yourself. Okay. Interesting. The answer is no, you can't. Uh, men yeah, always want variety. Oh, really? The answer oh, is, the the answer is sounds like my point. You triggered my trap card. The answer is no, and What's the reason right? why is because men want variety. So exactly. it doesn't matter how many times you dress up as a nurse or as a fucking witch on another day or as a yeah. doctor on another day. He's going to want a different girl. If you're black, he's going to want a white girl one day. If you're white, he's going to want an Asian girl another day. If you're white, he might want a black girl one so, day once a year. Yeah. I don't know. You're, you're telling <laughs> yeah. me that you can satisfy your man, your man right? Yeah. Where's he now? Well, I've been with the same guy for, of a, well, I don't know. Well, I've been for a guy for three years. I've been checking his phone religiously, and he never been talking to nobody else but me. But so. you said you were single earlier. Well, I'm talking about all, uh, you know, like back in the day when oh, I had wow, a, a wow, relationship. Wow. And, like, I was checking his phone religiously. He never talked to any other girl but homework and and say and just saying hi. So why'd you break up? Are you high? Yes. <laughs> because no. Yes. No. It, was no. a, it was a very toxic relationship. It turned very toxic. You should oh, call I mean, him back. Checking his phone. Take a picture oh, of yourself so with on no your makeup part, on. Sure. Sure. Sorry. Sorry. On your part, bro. <laughs> Holy All right, shit. man. Okay. Like you uh, so yeah, going back to what I was saying, hookup culture is on women because women are the ones that pick who fucks. And what I'm saying is that women typically in hookup culture pick the top 5 or 10% of men that are attractive enough to engage in hookup culture. A majority of men cannot participate in hookup culture. But a majority of women absolutely can participate in hookup culture. By default. You see what I mean? A, a guy that's top tier will fuck a five. The Bucks. average yeah, woman yeah. Can, can fuck more than the average man. Yeah. yeah, of yeah. Course. Like, uh, a matter of fact, I don't know if the girls know this. Like, are you guys aware that, like, every single one of you can probably get a guy faster than, like, a celebrity guy can get a girl? Are you guys aware of that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So does that not prove that women play the game on easy mode then? Average women... It's most no, 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 let that sink in. Hold on, hold on. Be quiet for two though. seconds. Average women have more dating pull than celebrity men. Yeah, I mean, it makes yeah. sense. So who really controls hookup culture then? Women. Women. No, no, I answer it. Who controls it? Who controls it? Yeah. Um, women control it. Who? Who? Uh, who? Okay. So no, we control it. Who's at fault? No, hold on, no, hold on. One question. Now, what I'm saying is, is the exact <laughs> thing that you're saying is like, I want to hear it. Who controls it? Okay, women. Who initiates it is men. Who? Who keeps it going is men. That's mm. what I'm saying. I don't think it's that simple. Said. Women control it. If you're in control, that means you have power, right? Yes. I, I think mean, a dude. Hold on. I think a dude named Uncle Ben said something about great power comes with what? Oh my god. Great what? Fresh? Oh, this is already. Uh, uh, Spider Man 2. Uh, oh no. PS5. See, I don't know why. <laughs> it amazes me. Like, there's a, so difference between, there's a difference between men and women. Like, women will have power, and like, oh, they, they don't understand that power comes with responsibility. But like, men understand that, like, oh, I got power. That comes with responsibility. I better fucking make sure I do this correctly because there's consequences if I fuck up. But women, on some other hand, have the power and don't understand the concept of consequences. You know what it is, bro? You can't sit there and say, Oh, we control it, and then go ahead and then say men are responsible for hookup culture. 